Oh, wow. This is not your everyday run-of-the-mill Montana 3120 here at Halet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. This is Mr. Halet's personal demo, and he decided uh, we wanted to take an opportunity here to show everyone not just what a Montana is, but everything that it could be. And he said, for my personal unit, I'm gonna put one of everything on it. So this is basically what the most heavily equipped, loaded up, feature jam-packed Montana possibly can look like. Again, this is not the average Montana you're going to find at a given dealership. This is not the Montana we're generally going to have on hand on any given day. But this is what it can be, and if what you're looking for is that like last one I'm ever gonna own full-time experience, this can certainly, certainly fulfill that need. Now this one comes in at 12,660 pounds, which is heavier than a normal one, but it has the legacy package, solar package, generator, and some other various things that could affect the, the weight tag there. So uh, kind of keep that in mind. And again, I can't stress enough that the one that we're looking at here is very likely different from the one that you're going to find either here or at any generic dealership. And once again, the 3120 Montana we're looking at is the same thing as the 3121, with just a different refrigerator. Now we have a lot to cover. So let's get started. Grab the popcorn, guys. This is not going to be a short one. One of the best things they did with the 3120 Montana is pay some attention to travel accessibility. So obviously, we got the slides closed right now. But if you notice, they built this thing so that you can very easily get to the entirety of the refrigerator. Doesn't matter what fridge you put in this thing, because the 3121 Montana is the same thing, just with a different refrigerator. So this video applies to both RVs. But you can fully get in here, you can get to a nice chunk of kitchen space. So if you uh, decide how you're going to plan, you can maybe keep like some plates and silverware here so that if you want to, while you're traveling, you could still sit down and grab a quick bite to eat. And then of course, easy access to bedroom and bathroom is pretty much a mainstay of almost any fifth wheel nowadays. Right away, the moment she opens up and you take a look at this thing all lit up like we're seeing right now, you just go, oh wow. Wow, it has, it absolutely has that effect, that impact, that appeal. Um, there's a lot to cover. I'm going to try to get started. I'm going to try to not miss anything. I may have to segment this video a little bit more than normal so that we don't miss anything. Let's start up top here and work our way down. This has very, uh, I guess part of the reason I think Montana's have been so successful as the single number one selling fifth wheel on the market uh, number one in their class for the last 17 consecutive years. The only time they've actually been edged out in terms of total sales volume has actually been by their sister Cougar. So uh, Keystone is absolutely just top of the game when it comes to fifth wheel stuff here. Why is that though? Well, I think they were one of the very first, if not the first, to take a lot of very diesel pushery things, feel items, and apply them into a towable RV application. Now we've got this vaulted ceiling up here with the uh, like indirect track lighting all the way through the living area here. That It, it helps light this thing up and there's even indirect lighting above that accent there. Um, and uh, it, it really helps cascade a lot of extra light through here, makes her feel bigger, more open. Um, without being unnecessarily tall. This thing's plenty tall, but it's not silly, wasteful tall. Now, the other thing you're not going to see here is the air conditioner. This has dual 15,000 BTU Whisper Quiet air units, which means you've got a 30,000 BTU centralized uh, quiet cool air system. So if you're looking for maximum cooling power and minimum noise, congratulations, you've accomplished that here. Now one of the, I'm going to try to point out the differences between the one we're looking at and like a more standardized Montana as we go. For instance, this uh, is outfitted with the legacy package. One of the uh, things that you're going to get with a legacy package is a cabinetry upgrade. Normally Montana always has these beautiful hardwood cabinet doors. They will have a lumber core style with a sticker app, but when you go legacy, Walk in here and start feeling around. You go to all hardwood cabinet styles throughout the entire RV. So that's one of the upgrades that you'll find in the Legacy series right there. Um, the uh, general layout obviously is not going to be any different. It's a trim package upgrade, if you will. So like this massive high-def TV that can obviously pivot around to face anywhere you want here in the living area, that's always going to be found. So there's no neck crank required. You're never going to get that neck strain. Mr. Halet actually used to camp in a lot of rear entertainment models. And a lot of people call and say, um, yeah, I mean, why don't you guys, you don't have any of the RVs with the TV in the back. 
And that's because they always require that 90 degree neck crank to be able to see the screen. And I don't care if you're young or old, that gets old fast. So now we've got easy direct view entertainment right here and uh, without any loss, with, with no loss really. So another benefit of this floor plan is guest sleeping. If you see here, we've got this uh, full trifold height of bed sleeper sofa in the back and there's side stands on both sides of it with power outlets and whatnot. But one of the other nice little benefits of this model is that whenever you're hooked up to shore power, this is a 110 powered uh, theater recliner. It has heat and massage, and this theater seat right here can still open and fully recline. So if you uh, are sleeping kids or uh, adult guests, you have multiple different locations you can accomplish it. Now this is something of a combination theater seat, love seat, with a pontoon style removable armrest. So it's kind of here when you need it, it's gone when you don't. And that's very nice. It gives you a little bit more flexibility and function that way. You will find all sorts of windows in this model. They're all going to open for just incredible ventilation. We've got amazing lighting. And one of the, I think one of the reasons that this uh, the 3120 actually replaced the previous 3160 Montana by flipping the slides. It, it, the 3160 Montana has all the windows on the other side of the RV. This one has them on your campsite. So you actually get to look at your site and not the neighbors. Now, another legacy upgrade is this right here. You go from just night shades to day and night shades. Uh, so for just that extra level of customization and personalization on do I want more light, uh, max privacy during the day, max privacy at night. It'll give you whatever you want here, wherever you want it. And I love the symmetry in the max size windows throughout. And again, just the nice little touches like the uh, all the extra lighting and stuff they're putting up in these uh, six and a half foot tall walk-in slides, by the way. So if I stand in the slide, I'm 6'3", I've got all kinds of head clearance in here. And that's another thing is these don't just have a taller slide out. They actually have a taller entry door as well. So you can see that even as tall as I am, this door is not just 30 inches wide, but it's also six and a half foot tall. Residential sized doors in Montana. Now, I just used a word here that uh, the RV industry uh, likes to misuse quite a bit, but it's, it makes more sense here, is that again, that residential sized door. And uh, part of the reason I don't mind using the word residential in Montana is because they are warranted for full-time living, which is an just exceptional qualities. Not only is Montana and have they been the number one selling fifth wheel, they're the number one seller to full timers and they have a warranty that does cover full timing as well as their three year structural coverage which is the best of its kind in the industry. They do all of the things. They go all the way. So we already talked about this theater recliner here. We've got our ceiling fan up top to help circulate that extra airflow and, and lighting and whatnot. Um, just every ounce of brightness and illumination they can. The Montana dinette has always been a thing of beauty. And again, it's another one of those very diesel pushery uh, features. Like at a glance, you look at this, and most of the time this is a couple's coach. So we only need two chairs. But when you are ready for guests, you see that the table extends, and then there's an additional extension leaf, and there's two uh, decor matching fold-away chairs that you can put in your front closet or under your bed. And uh, what's nice here is that when those chairs are open, you notice it looks exactly like those. Nobody feels like they're on a guest chair. Now their dinette goes multiple steps further. So uh, there's actually an outside entertainment center built on the back of this, again, very much like a diesel pusher. And up here, we've got this just handy general shelf. It's always nice to have a, a flat surface to do stuff with, but you've got uh, one of the, the three pop-up power posts in this floor plan located right here with household and USB plugs so that you can always keep stuff charged up and running. Now, another thing they do, you like these chairs from the factory, they are strapped together but you don't have to do that because of the Montana Chair Buddy. And I don't know if that's the word for it, but that's what I call it. It's a simple little gas strutted arm that holds these chairs down in place so they can't wiggle around in transit. So you don't have to do all the strapping down of chairs because I don't know how these guys do it from the factory. It's kind of like folding a map. I can never get these chairs strapped back together the way they do from the factory. But that little chair, buddy, that's the easiest, simplest thing possible in the world. Now, at a glance, you know, aesthetically, it's very clean, it's very crisp, but there is so much storage here that I want to be able to show you folks. So let's take a more in-depth look at the kitchen. The kitchen in the 3120RL, uh, it's just its just a masterpiece. Like, you, you look at this floor plan and the obvious thing is just the beautiful rear living arrangement that you have in here. 
but the kitchen is so deceptively good you don't even realize it. We'll circle back to take a look at the island in a second, but start right here. Like, first of all, can we examine the prep space on both sides of this very residential style sealed burner stove right here? So you don't have to like half disassemble that thing to clean it. You see, it's actually a separate unit entirely from that oven. And I love the newer Furion ovens with like the digital displays and the window in the front. So you can kind of peek at your stuff. You don't have to constantly open the door and introduce excess heat into the RV. But before we, you know, I'm kind of out of order already, but Anywhere you see counter space, these all these solid surface counters under it, it's just pure, unadulterated storage. Just crazy storage. Now you look at this right here and you think, oh, that'd be a good spot for a wastebasket, but the, that's already handled within the island. Now, as we work our way up, I want to point out that you actually have two of those pop-up power posts. You see one on the left and one on the right. So it doesn't matter if you're right or left-handed. It doesn't matter where you like to put your coffee maker, your blender, your toaster, your anything. You can put anything and everything you want anywhere in this kitchen. And that is a full tile backsplash back there. None of that is like a, a cheaper wallpaper. Convection microwave oven up here, again with storage on both sides, and a handy little wine rack above. And I can tell that somebody at Montana drinks wine because it's positioned correctly so that the cork stays wet, which is how you're supposed to store wine. Now, over here, uh, remember, this is the 3120 Montana, so it includes the 18 cubic foot gas electric fridge freezer. But once again, uh, like, I, I, I want to point out the fact that this is Mr. Halet's personal demo, and after a bad experience with a residential fridge, he is really the driving force behind why we have found so much more success and better service records with these things, with the experiences that he's had. So our own owner, with his own money, this is what he prefers. So that kind of, you know, we don't just sell these things, guys. We actually can't. So not just trying to pitch something from a marketing perspective. From an actual user and ownership standpoint, this is the fridge that our own owner prefers. And he could have anything he wants, obviously. But now this whole front wall here, it's incredible how much storage is going on here. Now, what you don't realize, uh, because you, at a glance, you look at this all closed up and you're going... Okay, yeah, I get it. There's a pantry there, but you're not expecting it to be the deepest, biggest thing in the world. And then you come over here and those motion sensitive lights kick on and you realize that this is the size of like almost a stackable washer dryer. It's very similar in size, but thankfully, if you choose to put a washer dryer in here, you don't have to give up kitchen pantry space. The bedroom closet is still set up for that. Now, remember that here in Legacy Edition, we are benefiting from the in-command system, which is that touchscreen control pad there, uh, and the uh, Bluetooth uplink. We'll circle back and talk about that more in a little bit. But normally, you'd have your control center here. We do have tank heaters, uh, so you can activate all three tank heaters right here in one location. And then more of that matching tile backsplash, more counter space. Like, this is the best little, like, entry bureau right here. If you want to come in, set your phone down, set down a bag of groceries or whatever, it's the perfect little spot to do that. Uh, also is our wall controller for our uh, rain-censored max air ceiling vent fan up here. So you don't necessarily have to uh, like try to poke up there with a broom to open it. And if you're gone and it's running, it will close itself up when you're done with it. And you'll even find extra little LED accent lights here, there, and everywhere in this. Now the one thing we need to, uh, even LED accent lights above that ceiling light fixture. But the one thing we haven't talked about so far quite yet is the island right here. And this island is fantastic. So, uh, again, remember I said we have a perfect built-in place for a wastebasket right there. It's, it just slides out and it comes right to you. You see the uh, solid surface countertops throughout that huge stainless recessed sink. And there are solid covers for both of those basins. I just left one open so you could see it. And then this amazingly large open cavity under the sink. So if you want even larger wastebaskets or big pots and pan storage or something like that, you got great spots to put any big stuff, small stuff, every stuff in between. Like I said, this kitchen's a masterpiece. As we get ready to head upstairs, a couple things I want to point out. Down here, we've got our central vacuum system with one of my personal favorite things I like to call the electric dustpan. And actually, one of my uh, viewers, I think, first called it that, and I've commandeered that phrase, but I love it, and I, I, I love all the feedback you folks give us all the time. I'd love to know what... Leave a comment in the video on this. I'd love to see what people think about this. So that little black thing at the bottom, you can just kind of toe-kick it up, 
and then and when we're hooked up to 110 power it will activate the vacuum and you don't have to like get out a dustpan or anything it'll suck everything right up for you now we do have a easy little place to hang a couple coats right when we walk in the door and when you add the solar option as we have done here this will be your controller and monitor and this is hilarious it's actually charging itself right now based on whatever the cloud conditions are and how many lights I have going on but when this first came in it was down to about 120 watts of uh, available uh, power and this is showing us like what we have coming in right now so uh, you know as the sun's come out this has been up to as high as uh, 230 but again this is a two, uh, 265 watt control system um, it's just it's neat to be able to see this to monitor that and I actually had my battery box turned off earlier and everything was still running. This thing is incredible how much power it puts out. Now their bathroom here is, is very, very standardized and I'm very happy for it. But one of the things that it gives me the opportunity to point out between the bedroom and the bathroom is the thickness of their interior walls right here. You see how thick these are. They're fully framed and studded out. You see how that's not buckling or bending or wiggling ever, not even the slightest bit right here, because this is all studded out. So that I think that's one of the reasons we have better structural records with our Keystone products, because they do that throughout a lot of the Keystone family, is it, uh, it, it's like interior wall structure, like a load-bearing wall in a house, basically. So we've got this fiberglass shower, and it does include the corner seating area over here. So if you need to sit down to shave legs or Maybe you've got a hitch in your giddy up and you need to sit down to bathe. You can do that here. Uh, the adjustable height shower head is something that I should probably install in my house because I'm this tall and my wife is this tall and we don't need the shower head at the same place. And I always wanted the shower head high. She wanted the shower head low. So we compromised and we left it low. <clears throat> anyway, I think, I think married couples out there understand what I'm getting at. My point is, it's just nice to have that convenient option right here. And we've got all, even if my head's all the way against the rear wall, I don't need my head in the, the bubble of the shower. More than enough headroom in here, which is nice. And this is a self-reinforced fiberglass shower that you can literally jump up and down in. That's my shoe prints in there. And that's another thing I want to talk about. We don't do hidden dealer fees at Haywood RV. So like if you're walking through an RV on our lot or something like that, a new RV, and you see that there's footprints in it, they ain't going to be there when you take it home because we clean stuff at no additional charge. Uh, you know, propane surge protectors, all that stuff. We don't charge you extra for that kind of thing. Now we've got a porcelain foot flush stool here and the, uh, I call it melts in your mouth, not in your hand door. You see that it never makes you walk backwards down the stairs. It always moves out of your way. Now there's a couple more things I wanted to point out here in the bathroom area. And that's the fact that you actually have the ability to put a wastebasket in this bathroom. How nice is this? That's so uncommon in fifth wheels with really impressive drawer capacity in this thing. And you'll see that we even have this additional little like quick access uh, pantry, not pantry, what am I gonna say? Just general toiletries thing right here. And an extra large mirror. So I don't care if you're tall or small, uh, you know, it sounds like a Dr. Seuss thing I'm about to say here, but you get the idea. It's just going to fit everybody. And just like that ceiling fan we found in the uh, kitchen area, we've got another one in here so that you, you can just, you could suck the hair off your head on this thing. If you saw my head in the shower, you'd know that's a fact, Jack. <laughs> Moving on. Uh, queen bed's actually standard in this. That being said, you're going to probably have to custom order a Montana with a queen bed because I don't think people even realize that's an option in here. It's so... Um, commonly expressed that the the king is virtually standard just because it's always put in. Now there's a couple detail things I want to point out here in this Montana bedroom. I want to point out the fact that it actually has power outlets built right into the slide box of the bedroom slide out. That is not normal. That is not common. Phone chargers, CPAP users, and remember with the solar package, uh, those are 110 hot. So you can run a CPAP while boondocking, while traveling. You can breathe at night. If you have a breathing problem, you're not going to die in a Montana. That's, I guess that's one of the best ways I can say it. And we've got the big cross breeze windows here in the bedroom for that excellent, excellent airflow. Now remember I said we have dual whisper quiet air conditioning. That second air conditioner in the bedroom, again, this is an optional piece of equipment. But it is what we're going to do on a Montana every single time unless, again, you custom order out of it. Because I can't imagine having this large of an RV without it. But it always drives me kind of crazy that 
a lot of RVs have whisper quiet air in the living room, but not in the bedroom where you're maybe four feet away from that loud air conditioner compressor. Now it's sound deadened and baffled. And by the way, one of the questions people have is, well, how do I get to the filter? Each of these little drop down panels has its own individual filter. Very easy to swap out. Um, we're kind of getting a decent look at it right now, but let's take a little more in-depth look at the storage in the bedroom here. You see you've got that uh, great dresser directly across from the bed with full underbed storage that not a lot of big fifth wheels have. Not only are we stackable washer dryer ready, but you see that in that closet, tons of room for hanging storage, and those shelves are great. I don't care what you're storing, whether it's extra towels, extra shoes, anything. You've got anything and everything you could ever want available to you up in here. The bedroom TV is going to be standard, even in the Montana High Country series, I think even down into the Cougar series now. Um, and you notice how it's actually angled downward so that just like the living room, you don't have to get that neck crank stress to be able to enjoy entertainment at night. I wanna take one more walk back through here to make sure I didn't miss anything, which I'm sure I have. There's so much to talk about on this, it's not even funny. Um, it is easy just to get like awestruck. Look at it. this is beautiful. This is beautiful. Let's go outside where it is also beautiful with this one's full body paint package. So right away at a glance, you can see a very obvious visual difference between this and a standard Montana. This has the earthen slate paint package. Now the way that it works at Montana is you start with a Montana. Then you upgrade to Legacy Edition. Once you've done that, you can then apply a paint package, which you see done here. Once again, this is the one that has all of the things on it. Now, one thing that I thought was cool, and you'll see it when we go upstairs, because um, we're gonna walk on the roof of this before we're done, is they actually paint over the front rear termination strips, which your most critical seal on this entire RV has now extra layers of protection. Magnet latches, uh, or magnet catches and slam latches, pardon me. Now some folks ask, why do they still have these old style like hookups where you would put a gas strut? There are some people who live in a very extreme windy area and it is theoretically possible to maybe somehow get a wind pocket under that double magnet latch door. I've never seen it happen, but I don't live in the plains of our beautiful country. Those folks may want to put a set of gas struts on this door so that you eliminate the potential of it falling. Now, speaking of things falling, what won't fall on you is the Moride stable steps that we see here. This is the zero G system, which uh, basically means it's self-supporting and it'll hold itself. And those adjustable feet pegs are awesome to make this thing marry up to about any campsite you want, anywhere, anytime you want. Now, I'm going to... I've got a new name for the pass-through storage on this. The RV delivery driver that bought this thing was just... Or brought this thing here was drooling all over it. And he goes, oh my God. What is this, smart car storage? And it's not far from the truth. In terms of cubic foot of space, there's more cubic foot of space uh, in this Montana basement than an, a smart car does occupy. It's just kind of uh, the shape of the matter. So you go from a 12 inch frame down to a 10 and that drop frame can creates this massive storage compartment down here. And I love that there's none of that felt carpeting stuff down here. It's this industrial grade, like rubberized type flooring. So it's uh, very scratch impact, dent weather resistant. You see the uh, emptying location here for your uh, central vacuum system. And then we've got this guy. This is in command. Let's take a more in-depth look at in command. So in command is something that actually Montana and in a way it's toy hauler sister, the Keystone Fusion kind of partnered up on bringing to the RV business. And you're even now finding it all the way through the entirety of the Cougar family. What this is, is like the best brain wiring and like control system I think that's ever been devised for a towable RV. So uh, first of all, what it also makes this easy to see is the fact that Keystone is the first towable manufacturer to fully color code all their wiring. A couple other brands that are actually Keystone subsidiary children are doing that now because they get the benefit of Keystone engineering. These guys are ahead of the game here. What this system does is it, it we've, we've noticed that systems or RVs within command need to be worked on less. And uh, if they have to be worked on, it's been much easier. That being said, I think only one have we ever had a question on. It was really just more of an idea of using it. So what is it? Instead of that uh, little 
uh, automotive blade fuse box, you've got these things, which are far higher in power and capacity, and you can get them replaced at like any automotive store. So like in, in our county right here, we're the only licensed RV parts and service center, but there's 41 auto uh, parts and service centers. So there's more places to get these parts if you're going down the road, you need a quick replacement, not to mention the fact you seem to like basically never need to replace them. Now this has that really nice touch screen system inside. Let's say for some reason, it just doesn't work or somebody breaks it, which we've never had happen yet, but it, hypothetically if it did, one of the concerns people have is what if I can't sync my phone to it? What if the panel doesn't work? Well, what you might notice is you've always got a set of manual override switches right here. You can always choose your awning, your jacks, your slide outs. You can always run those things right from here. So this thing, not only does it make your RV more maintenance free, God forbid you have to do anything with it, it's that rainy day silver lining cloud and it's just it seems to just be a, a, a better system overall basically whenever you see asa electronics on something it, it's pretty much one of the best things you've ever seen as far as i can determine back up front of this big beautiful monster i never get enough of that look right there uh another option applied to this here is the 5500 propane generator that you see right here uh this is going to be a, a good chunk this and like the rear cap and the solar are three extra things that'll add a significant amount of weight above and beyond the standard uh weight of a montana uh 3120 so this is probably i don't know five six seven hundred pounds more than normal this usually clocks in just under 12 and here it's about what 12 660 but gives us the freedom on top of the solar that we're going to learn about later to take this thing anywhere anytime it is park quiet rated being propane what i love about that is if most of the time you're at a park and uh you just happen to lose power for a little bit a gas generator if you don't regularly run it it's going to be all fouled up the carburetor is going to be all gummed up your spark plugs are going to be all kinds of crappy propane can sit virtually indefinitely and not foul up and get gummed up and that's one of the things i like about it now we've got shock dampening rubber shock dampening pin box and suspension on this to give you uh you know the smoothest ride possible on a big beautiful coach like this we also you can see mr hala added the slide awnings to his personal demo here now keep in mind i keep calling it his rv at some point he'll want to flip out of this thing so if you really like what you see here, give us a call. You never know. He could probably order another one just like it, and you could go camping in this one right here. Now, when in the case of a demo, for people who don't know, it is still registered as new. Dealerships can actually demo things, kind of like when you test drive a car. It doesn't affect warranties or anything, so you still get the full benefit of the full-time living warranty and Keystone's three-year structural warranty that begins the day you sign the line, not the day that Mr. Halet uh, first takes possession. There is a key difference there. Six hydraulic leveling and one thing I noticed is the in command panel inside it actually had uh, leveling jacks up down buttons previously in command was not capable of speaking to leveling systems it looks like they found a way to accomplish that which is just yet another handy feature because I could probably be sitting in a truck backing up to this raising or lowering that fifth wheel from my phone for the easiest hookup you've ever seen in your life um, little detail stuff Montana's do. They even do this in the High Country series. They include a little sewer hose caddy because the last thing you want is your sewer stuff mingling and hanging out and getting to know your fresh water hose. And that's just a good way to get really, really sick. And it shocks me how often I see that. So we've got a fully enclosed, privatized uh, docking center in here, even an antifreeze inlet. This is where your black tank flush will be. And one thing I want to just kind of put down and squash real quick, there's a lot of false information about our values out there. There's no such thing as a R52 roof. That's basically just a bold-faced lie. Um, but what you have here on a Montana, they are and have been zero degree rated since 2005 and counting. These guys get it done. Now you see that uh, full rear cap on here. That's another uh, upgrade that goes along with the Legacy series right here. So normally you'd have a laminated, or pardon me, you'd have a, a, a fiberglass rear wall. And now we've got a, a full fiberglass rear cap with the Legacy series. Another neat thing on the Legacy, there's actually three parts of Legacy you can see right here, is this right here. This is not found on the standard Montanas. This is a 50 amp electric extend retract power cord right here. Um, let me get that pulled out a little bit but instead of having to uh like wrestle with this thing it's all right here it's easy it's push button operated you don't have to like 
pull on this big heavy 50 amp cord anymore uh, with 12 volt power it does the heavy lifting for you now there's a two inch receiver hitch on the back of this that'll always be on any montana that's not legacy specific and that's something mr halet really likes about these it was one of the many reasons he chose to go montana with his personal rv you know this guy could take anything home this is what he chose guys that should really say something one of the reasons is um, he's had a lot of fifth wheels over the years. He's had a lot of seasonal sites. He's, he's owned his different sites and things at different, like, resorts. He likes to bring his bikes. But he's noticed when he comes back, his bikes are not in the same place he left them. But when you put a bike rack on the back, even of a permanent site or seasonal site type unit, your bikes are always exactly where you left them when you're done. Isn't that nice? That's one of the other nice things here. Now, this isn't just backup camera ready. Uh, all Montanas will be that way, but when you go Legacy, it includes the Furion Observation Camera, which isn't just a backup camera, but it is also uh, an in-motion observation camera, which is awesome for like your co-pilot to be able to help you around. We have dual awnings, and this is like Picnic Central right here, with this swing-out uh, HD TV uh, off the back, remember, of the dining table. Remember how I mentioned that? So this actually pivots out for easier viewing at your campsite. And I, I mean, there's just, there's never a bad seat in the, in the house, even out of the house <laughs> of a Montana. Um, frameless windows with uh, sliding slide side windows for maximum airflow. And there are some things that Keystone does on their slides across the board. You don't find often in the business. Like if, uh, and it's actually, it's stuff that's even difficult to show. So first of all, the bulb seal here on the face of the slide, you see how it's got a lighter color. That is done on purpose so that when the slide is closed, you're not going to get that black foam ugly line right here because it won't bake and seal against the trailer in the same way. It's still sealing from water, but it's not cooking itself. Now, if you peel back the wiper seal, you'll actually find a second one. And, oh, you can actually see it a little bit here. That interior uh, rain gutter channel right there. So uh, while the slide is going in and out, there's double wipe seal action and a guard that actually funnels water away. And then little things like if you feel your fingernail right down under this trip, this is something I find on Keystones I'd, I've never found on another trailer in the business, which kind of surprises me, is there's an inverted uh, channel right there so that if water is running down the slide side, it'll hit that inversion. It will beat up. It will drip and drop and not wick into your sun, uh, subfloor. But maybe these things right here are some of the reasons that you've got the industry's most comprehensive three-year structural warranty on this thing right here. Uh, I, I've said this thing right here like way too many times. I'm just still absolutely in awe of what I see here. This is just, it's beautiful. Um, you know, I've known that these features were available for a long time, but we never had one of these on the grounds. And man, am I glad I got to see it. It's cool to see, like I said, not just what a Montana is, but everything that they could be. But we haven't seen it all yet. Let's go take a look at the roof. Now, there are a couple very specific reasons I wanted to come up here. And remember again, that this RV in this video is very likely different from the one that we have on hand, especially this being Mr. Halet's personal custom order demo. But you will find a lot of commonalities like the, uh, the dual 15,000 BTU air conditioners. You see the low profile air conditioner above the bedroom right here. Uh, that's something that we're gonna put on these. They're both whisper quiet. I've probably already mentioned that at this point. But something else I noticed, when you apply a full paint package to this, they actually paint over the front and rear termination strips. So this sealant right here has actually been given an additional level of protection with this automotive paint that overlaps this right here. That is one of those things I never would have uh, expected or predicted, but I like what I see. Now you can see they are very heavy handed on all their sealants up here. They do not use minimum sealant. They go all the way. I mean, look at how much in a way over sealant they use here, but it's extra protection. Now this is something else I want to talk about. This is an optional piece of equipment now available on Montana's and holy cow is it windy all of a sudden. But not only are they roof mount solar prep, but you can actually option on a 265 watt solar panel onto Montana fifth wheels. This will allow you to run uh, your refrigerator. This can run an air conditioner. This can run uh, the plugs next to your bed for CPAP users or phone chargers or anything like that. Uh, it includes also a 2000 watt inverter 
so that you can run those bigger things. And uh, again, 265 watts of power is a lot more than one of those little portable solar suitcase things that are 80, 90, maybe 100 watts, something like that. So this is something I'm really pumped to see. I'm glad Mr. Hala put this together and uh, we were able to really show you not just what a Montana is, but really what a Montana could be. Now, every RV is the best in a different way, but I don't think it's an accident that the folks down at Montana are and have been the number one selling fifth wheel in their class for 17 consecutive years. Oh my God. So, if this looks fun, interesting, you'd like to learn more about it, you'd like to see what we have on hand or what we could get for you, give us a call here at Halid RV, 800-256-5196. Take care, stay safe, have fun, and happy camping, everyone.